Hi there and uh, welcome back. Uh, I am Matteo Migliorini. You can call me Matt if uh, for you is more easy. Today I want to show you one thing uh, on uh, 3DX Max. It's uh, one thing I did uh, in the past. I found uh, the, the video but uh, I don't like uh, how it was recorded uh, so I decided to record a, a new video today. So first of all I want to change for example the um, interface, the, the timeline, okay? Line 24, we can start from 001, uh, we can use it to 1, 2, 4, 6, okay? So we can use the production timeline inside uh, 3DX Max. Uh, I don't use 3DX Max for a long time and uh, I recorded this video only for this time. I think it should be the last video I could be, maybe I could be recorded on uh, 3DX Max. Uh, for now, maybe you can find more tutorials in uh, Italian language uh, on old version I release in uh, that days uh, and by the way we can uh, maximize our viewport okay I don't use uh, for example I'm going to check now very quickly I use uh, the generic unit okay it's not uh, the system unit is uh, in centimeter but uh, generic unit for that I can create for example, the sample box, if I remember how it work. Yeah, okay. It's not a change too much. And uh, I can copy that, for example, at times. 25, okay. Then I can create the sphere. Sample sphere. I can move it, move it like this. I can move it also just a bit. Uh, some of this box. Just for create a few variation. And then uh, I show you why. Okay, I go to create the animation on uh, this uh, sphere for example from here to here okay and then okay it's uh, very simple we can also check the curve editor and we can create very linear animation okay uh, now how I can close that? I don't remember how <laughs> how I can close that. Close, okay. And now I want to uh, use the um, mass effects to bars, okay? To bars max effects because this tutorial is on max effects. Max effects it's uh, the alternative uh, tools you can use inside uh, 3dx max for create the dynamic simulation uh, before that tools based on uh, you can see just a little bit some information okay uh, where is the about okay by about mass effects this mass effects is based on the nvidia nvidia physics is the system of physical system from nvidia and um, you can use that system in alternative to the reactor i don't know i don't remember if reactor is still available in uh, but maybe not i don't see that here yes maybe it was deleted i don't remember i downloaded uh, the demo for check that uh, and i see maybe maybe 
that uh, was uh, was uh, uh, removed from uh, uh, the new vessel, but the reactor was the engine for create uh, the dynamic simulation and physical correctly inside 3DX Max in the past. I remember in uh, the release uh, seven was uh, uh, this version. But by the way, with uh, uh, the physics, you can uh, with Mass Effects uh, the physics you can use also you can create also the the vellum simulation the vellum sorry the clot simulation here we can create the set dynamic rigid body and cinematic what is and the static what is the difference the difference is dynamic is the our object like our domino okay we can create the domino effects essentially not like the more complex you can also use uh, you can also create the line and use the tools uh, for example the align tools for aligns your box your uh, domino elements on this line on the path but by the way it's uh, the set dynamic rigid body is created the rigid body is dynamic is not uh, is, uh, is not moved for example in this case because i don't have the animation like our sphere the sphere need to create the cinematic kinematics okay kinematics and for example you can also create uh, we can create here for example i created the ramos because it's more time i'm going to use it the teapots and i want to put my teapots move the teapot here in the end of my and then i want to create this teapot like for example the set static rigid body what is the difference this element is not moved okay you can see predix max apply for you the modifier modifier you can have a more difference uh, element you can also give uh, the mesh you can give the preset uh, like uh, if the preset for materials this is not moved is not important is the max is more high so essentially is the, the 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 object where the collider arrive and don't move it is very static it's like the ground for uh, understanding the box the domino element uh, elements it's uh, like you can change here for example the mass if you want but uh, or the density by the way you can have here for example the dynamics cinematic and static you can also switch here the effects on uh, the properties on the rigid body you can have here have here the dynamics and you can start in sleep mode this is another can you can collide it with the rigid bodies etc etc and uh, here you can see the cinematics and we have all expect for cinematics now if i press play on on my timeline i see only my uh, sphere is moved but is not to create any kind of simulation why that because you should be go here here in max tools uh, properties can open again from here also here we have the simulation you can use open directly for example the simulation tabs okay is open these tools here and here you can you can also plug here for example for see here we have the ground collision so we have the infinity plane from the grid you can see but this ground collision is anyway is uh, is very big you can uh, gravity by force you can uh, assign the force and you can uh, from the helper if i remember well it's uh, here in the helper you can have the force you can create for example the gravity the wind and you can assign the force external force you can just pick the force no gravity but by default the acceleration of the gravity is the acceleration you can have on the earth planet and uh, the axis is from the the z axis the z axis in uh, 3dx max it's the only software with this one of the only software with the z axis is the the top axis from 
from up, so it is go down in this direction. Sub step is the quality for uh, your solver for the simulation and blah blah blah. You can find more if you use it, for example, in other software. This is very easy to understand how it works. Essentially, in simulation, here we have the simulation, here we have the selection not enabled. And you can select your element and change the properties from here without use uh, the um, command panel for example uh, from uh, this uh, this case in this case okay and here we can have uh, enable visualization uh, local axis uh, join etc you can have only the visualization for your um, mesh for example display not mesh we can see the mesh is created uh, for my uh, element this is the convex cool cool uh, mesh this is box so it's very easy but uh, for example for the the teapot maybe here is not more uh, good the, this uh, uh, kind of simulation it should be changed a little bit by the way just uh, come here And you can press we can also reduce just a little bit okay you can just press play and you can see now the simulation is running okay you can create the domino effects you can see also the stopped here the our element you can create the simulation like this if you scroll your timeline is not working anything you can just start simulation without animation and here you can start simulation for c you can stop simulation or loop and animation you can reset simulation continuous to simulation you can press play and you can see your simulation is started and go to do the loop obviously this is very uh, light simulation is not a more complex simulation so you can see in real time your simulation by the way if you do if you have the complex simulation you can maybe take a lot of time okay for create the uh, this uh, simulation okay when if you like this uh, for example you can change just a little bit you can just replace click on please um, and you can come back uh, okay i want for example change the density of some element i can select it casually some elements and can go here i want uh, maybe the mass uh, it's just a little uh, is less for example is for example two i can also change the color for that so it's green okay so i know that is the less i can select another randomly and can i give for example 10 like a mass okay so it's a difference max also the the friction I can give just a little bit of the friction effect so you can see what it, it's happen now okay if I uh, go to scene press play is not change more because we have the very simple uh, simulation here okay Another example uh, you can use, for example, the M clot. The M clot is essentially the, the clot system, and you can also create the drag. You can create also the here we have the, the constraint, the ragdoll, etc. etc. But more interesting is the pressure. Here we have the enable pressure, like the behavior pressure. And essentially is uh, go more solid or or not we can see that simulation okay uh, we have the this body this is this this box is the rigid rigid plane 
and this is like uh, the element is to turn around for create more variation we can see now we what's happening we can comment all of this okay just press play Okay, we can see what's happened. Uh, essentially, we have uh, some tip of this very rigid body, like this green, and have the the, the behaviors is more more rigid, and the the violet uh, or magenta or uh, purple tip uh, essentially is the clot, but the tip is is uh, component by more elements. Uh, okay, so when have the handle have the um, the cap uh, etc and when this is element is not uh, union is not only one object uh, is destroyed when is uh, collided with another element then we have the the sphere the sphere have the different kind of uh, pressure uh, the um, the red sphere is more high pressure is one pressure is like one and uh, the beige or brown sphere have uh, the the value like zero you can see the deformation and then it's come back to the normal kind of a sphere and the torus the last one is uh, the pressure is uh, is, a, is another m plot and the pressure is 0 0.5 and you can see the behaviors is um, more particular because sometimes it is a deformation and then it's come back to the original shape here we have a, a huge deformation and then it's come back to the original shape uh, in in the last one but it also is more uh, a, a just a little bit elastic effects okay now we have uh, we we did the simulation we love that we should be bake this simulation for use uh, for rendering uh, for use uh, inside the software like like we want we should be okay stop it we can bake all and you take also that element or for example because i want to uh, take uh, one for each kind of simulation okay and we can uh, bake only the selection what's happened now i can uh, click on bake uh, only the selection and we need to wait is uh, 3x max uh, here you can see max effects uh, baking is a uh, three percent this machine is uh, a little bit quickly a little bit fast also you can see here is create for you one key frame for each frames you have on your timeline you can also reduce that then with the cube editors tools or you can also create uh, a difference uh, essentially one the, the big one frame by frame it's uh, it's okay for now okay it's finished it took uh, a few times you can also select uh, the element uh, you want to keep for example and we can move it okay or just uh, ah, because I don't press play here so we can just see what's happened here okay we can select also this element for example and I can hide for example for one second okay and here you can see 
what's happened is some of this element is destroyed like I said before you can see like it's working now boom, 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 boom. okay it's very nice the ball is ball. okay and uh, for example you can take this element you can render in you can use you can export for another software you can see in uh, live uh, what's happened that that's it okay i hope you like this video and um, i hope uh, if you like you can share it you can subscribe and you can and i'm waiting you for the next uh, tutorials on the cgi or next video on my youtube channel Bye.